dirty moors did to Drew Ali. This is from, well, I'm going to say this from the Chicago Defender as well. Saturday, June 30th, 1928. Already there are brass temples in Detroit, Milwaukee, and Pittsburgh. In connection with each temple, some kind of business enterprise is conducted. That was known back then. Mm -hmm. You can't have a temple without having a business. Your business can't be decent people. Oh, give me all your monies. So I can drive a fancy car, live in a big house, and you can't pay your bills. That makes no sense. Excuse me. In connection with each temple, some kind of business enterprise is conducted. The Detroit members under the, lead, under the district leadership of Lomax Bay have a first class and meat market and soon we'll establish another. So we had our own grocery store and meat. The Pittsburgh members have started a laundry. The Chicago members are preparing to store and market in the 31st block on Indiana Ave. They are spending their money with each other as far as possible to do so and creating opportunities for each other. They entertain themselves, friends, and visitors with dancing, music, and entrance every Saturday evening at Unity Hall. So when I say Moors, and that's party, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, well, you know, Moors don't do nothing, and, you know, we don't, we don't get into them social gatherings. Where do you get that from? Moors, as African people, you know, or descendants of the inhabitants of Africa, we know Africans party. They like to dance, they like to drum, they like to eat and drink, and the children be running around. That's when the children can run around in peace, when, you know, it's a party. So, I mean, why we can't party? I remember back in the day when I first found this and I brought it to the attention of some of the leadership, they was like, oh, no, we don't do that. Why not? Prophet had a French fry every Saturday and party. He was playing pool. They was, um, they was, um, they like playing pool, playing cards. You even had, and I'm telling it, you even have more shots. Catch was it wasn't for money. Mm -hmm. See, this is what we gotta start to understand. You can have fun without being intoxicated or gambling. It's fun. Perfect example. I, I gotta bring this up. Yesterday we had arts class. We had lunch. Me, the sister, and another sister, Brother Moose's wife. We in the we in the crowd having a good time, busting up laughing, enjoying ourselves. Sister C. Essen was like, Can I hit that blunt? What? You don't see smoke, you don't smell smoke. But she don't see us as a people being able to have fun like that unless we get intoxicated. No, Prophet Lover Jewel, said we can come together and have good, clean, more fun. For real. We can have good, clean, more fun. Islam. Islam. I need to tell. I need to tell it because we were sitting in the car <laughs> and we was laughing. That's what happened. And we were laughing. We were just having a good time and we were laughing at whatever we were talking about. And I guess this lady was about, or this woman, she was about six. Wow. And she was sitting in the car. What type of woman was she in? What was her face? Uh, she was in a roaster. Okay. Um, well, the new, you know, the, the, it's a crime. Yeah. It almost looks like a bug, but it's a bug wagon. That's the way I call it. But right. it's the roaster, the little roaster car. So, nevertheless, we were sitting there, and she said, she said, wow. She looked over, she was like, wow, it seems like y'all having a, a lot of fun, you know? And, and she's like, yeah, you know, we are, we, you know, we're, we're, we're having fun. And then she says, she says, what? She says, uh, pass me that blunt. Like, you know, Did like, and I was like, excuse me. Like California thing? Yeah, she was okay. like, let me, you know. Yeah. Yeah. She said, uh, and then works. she said, what y'all got over there? Pass me some of that fun. And the brother said, we got some Subway. That's what we're going to see. That's what we're going to see. Way over there. You know, and so, you know, she was like, well, that's even better. She cranked her car up and she left. Yeah, but that, that just tripped me out like, wow, we can't, we're not supposed to be able to have fun without being intoxicated? Just yeah. I, don't, I don't know if you remember that.
Budweiser commercial where they showed all the black college getting drunk. I remember because I was in college when it happened and they took it down because we put up a, such an uproar saying we don't party like y'all. We just need each other, just like y'all need us. Hey, it's long. be with it. The prophet had a fish fry every Saturday. Mm -hmm. So the more want to come together, have a fish fry at the park, get together to have fun. You know, we used to have a mobile who played the drum, but we got two musicians now, so you know, praise the Lord. They can sing, the serenade, and then we can get <coughs> going on. So. Yeah. We need to throw, we need to start enjoy ourselves on the weekend, boys, for real. It's the Sabbath day anyway. Saturday, we know it's a Sabbath day, so we can get together and truly enjoy ourselves. President Ali teaches fundamental principles which are designed for civilization, such as to law. So we're not lawbreakers, but we know what the law is. And we know that all of the prophets took statues and broke them, right? They took the statue and smashed it, bang! So don't come to me with your statues, come to me with the law. If it's not law, we might break the statue and you. It's law. Respect and loyalty to government. <coughs> loyal to the government. If the, if the government is loyal to us. Yes, if not, we're going to leave the civil disobedience to the utmost. We'll, we'll start off like King and we'll end up like Malcolm. It's your choice. We have no problem with either one of them. Say that again. We'll start off like King. We, it's going to be, we shall overcome. Then it's going to get, we will overcome. We're going to be standing there saying, we have overcome. <laughs> so it'd be best, you know, that when we come like king, you don't let us get like Malcolm. Just being honest. Tolerate. See, we're tolerating. That's why we come like king. We're tolerating. And once we tolerate for a while, we're going to unite and come against that which comes against us. And that's just, so obedience to law, respect and loyalty to government, tolerance and unity. We're not treasonous nor are we seditious. But we will make sure that the Constitution is enforced on everybody, by everybody. That's why we teach the law. He further holds that only by adhering to principles of love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice can individuals in any group their highest possibilities and be recognized by the national government in which they are part and parcel in the newspaper. See, sister brought to my attention and she's like, well, I read such and such, and he can't be partial. We used to argue back and forth, me and him, but when we first came in the temple, we would always be like, what part to say partial? And they said, well, yeah, one part to say partial, the other part to say partial. Found out in the, in the original demonstration, it was partial. You had somebody by the name of Richard Ross Bay who chose to put it otherwise so that it can confuse us. Pardon, parcel means inseparable. Part of partial means we partial. We not as a whole. We can be divided. That's not. But the prophet said, united we stand, divided we fall, right? And we know the Europeans is all conquer, right? So we're not with that. So we part and parcel and other nations of the so it says the government in which we are part and parcel and other nations of the world. Regular meetings are held every Friday and Sunday evening at Unity Hall. Catch that one. A lot of people don't understand why I say we need to get back to our Sunday meetings. They think this is the Sunday meeting. Didn't say that, did it? It said regular meetings, regular meetings are held every Friday and Sunday evening. Sunday school is for at their training. Like I said, now you for, for those who coming in, you'll get it that way. We grew up on something totally different, right? We always thought Sunday school was the end all be all. But no, Prophet actually had Sunday meetings where he went into the real whatever was talked about in Sunday school, he gave the real lectures and real teachings on it. We're gonna get back to that. And friends and visitors are always welcome. So Prophet Noble Juali was moving. He was really moving. Islam? I have a question. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, uh, are you just saying, like, in general, when he was speaking, he used to parcel? Or are you saying that all nations are part of the law of the nations of the world? Like, is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
That's why we don't deal with a lot of these people from all across the country. Because what they did is they have changed up everything for us to not get our stuff back. That's why we so docile. That's why we have been so docile. That's what we're talking about. Who the confusion to where we we now don't know what's going on? We're going over today. Who caused all this confusion? And I'm going over what the prophet actually did so that when I start breaking down who caused the confusion, you can see why that is being said. This is, this is like the one you gave me? Possibly. I'm not sure which one. But, yeah, I'm not, I, can't, I can't recall exactly which one because I, I gave the council prototypes of stuff that was a little bit off or it wasn't quite like I wanted it. It might be part and parcel on there, it may not. Um, but a lot of them did happen. If not, those will be the ones that we give to the new man. That's why I asked you to you bring yours, because I'm going to give you another one. Okay. Um, <coughs> the new <coughs> members who come in will get it uncut. You know, we've been a part of for 15 years. And we were lied to, we've been in the temple. And we have been going through it with each other. <laughs> and with other people outside to make sure we set it right because we don't want to mislead y'all. Y'all could we don't I don't wanna be I don't wanna be the one who somebody points to me and be like, y'all misled us. Like I can point to people that claim to be so big in ministry, but they misled us. Even in the temple is more Samaritan. We're talking about church. Man, We're not talking about the minds. We're talking about the more science temple of America. It's those on our side of the nation who think it's a joke and unreal. Prophet Noah's what he didn't say was our side. He said on our side. So we fixing it. All right. Hope y'all ready for this one. It's one of the trouble stars. March 11, 1929. Crumley <coughs> Bay, governor and head of the temple in Pittsburgh, Brother Charles Bay, governor and chief head of the temple in Cleveland, Ohio. These two brothers are empowered by the prophet to investigate business, etc. of temple number four in Detroit, Michigan. Now, when we read the first demonstration, we talked about how Detroit was the one doing the big business, right? That's the first thing they named. The brothers in Detroit got a grocery store. All right, so the brothers in Detroit, listen, because Lomax Bay, that district was under, right, has violated all divine laws of the prophet, even before the prophet's face, February 15th. 1929. He claims that the prophet has no more power and the finance from Detroit would be in his charge. He would send, he wouldn't send any to the prophet. Now, let's go into what he did. Duali made a structure to where the brothers back then were getting. Not only were you getting paid for your business ventures, he had the structure set up to where Lil Max Bay was making $400 a month. We say $400 a month. That's nothing, right? It's 1928. $400 a month back then? Do it maybe 100 times now. Because they was dealing with gold in silver. It was on a gold and silver standard. So he was making $400 himself. His temple was bringing in about $2,000 to $3,000 every month. So the, everything besides the four had to go to the prophet. He was like, uh-uh. Nah, 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 nah. You know, I'm doing this myself with this money. And he literally said he wouldn't send any to the prophet. He with a loud voice, look at me! Right? That's why you be careful with people who say that. Because it's very, very dangerous. Don't look at me. Smile. Look at the prophet. Smile. The guy be through. Same spirit is, is reincarnating itself now. Why be careful of <laughs> the people who do that? Don't look at me, I will guide you through. Look at the prophet. And he said, I was your God and your protector. Smile. This is lawful and living evidence spoken before 1,500 people, and the prophet was also present. So at Unity Hall, that's how much, that's how many people all held, 1,500. 
Not, and, and those are just his ad -dibs. Those are just his ad -dibs. That was at an ad -dib meeting. This one. <laughs> he gave this speech in the prophet's face. Yes. And nobody got out of it like talking about it. We'll talk just, about that later. We'll get to that. <laughs> We're going to get to that. <laughs> Spoken before 1,500 people, and the prophet was also present. I, the prophet, declared his office vacant. In the name of Grand Governor, discharged. So when you hear, you know, we give honor to the grand governors and, you know, I might have to stop doing that because Crumley Bay and Childs Bay were also considered grand governors. But in this document, he literally them just governors because those who were of that power went against the prophet, so he totally took away the name. And this is, you will see, I'll show it to you, this is his handwriting with his signature. Or should I say, yeah, his signature is in his handwriting. So he declared vacant the name of Grand Governor or the office vacant and the name Grand Governor discharged. And he was the first Grand Governor. Lomax Day was Grand Governor in 1925, October 15th, when the temple was first started. He's always been Grand Governor. He was the promised right hand man and he became. <coughs> All right? He can only be a member according to the law because more signs temple because more signs temple of America is a divine organization. You know the prophet only kicked out homosexuals? You had people who we get to that. We had people who um went against him totally, people who tried to kill him, you know, people who stole money. He didn't kick them off the simple America because this is a divine government. Islam. I can't stop you from being a Moorish American. All right? You are, why are we Moorish Americans? Because we're of the Russians and born in America. Not because we actually stood before a resident and proclaimed it. You are that because that's what, that's, that's what you are. You stand in front of the branch so that you can get taught to know who you are. What is that? What is the Moorish American? What do Moorish Americans do? And then that's what Sunday school and stuff like this is for. So, each temple is under, is under supreme guidance of the prophet. When man fails after being placed head of the temple by the prophet of obeying our divine laws and constitution, he is a traitor, an enemy to the divine creed, and unloyal to the national government, USA. See, that's where the confusion. Oh, well, you know, we are our own government. We this. Read the documents. It says unloyal to the national government, USA. That's the national government that the prophet Noble Juali is talking about. We are part and parcel of that government because we, we have sustained it and maintained it. More of our blood has been shed than theirs. A lot of our blood has been shed by them. So it's ours. To which the movement is to make men and women better citizens. You're not a citizen of the, of the more signed simple of America. USA, that's what you're going to I'm a citizen of the USA. So this more signed simple of America purpose is men and women I've got to see says it again in this document you gotta go back over that make men and women better citizens of government and like we already went over the last week men and women was not citizens during 1927 or 29 the brothers found out that it wasn't they didn't start fighting really getting some recognition to 34 and they didn't until the price movement, the women didn't. And we didn't either really, because we couldn't vote. They would stop us from voting and everything else. But he was making us citizens in, in, in 1929. You have to stand up before he was seen as president, had military honors, and say, I'm a citizen of the USA. So they recognize him. They recognize him. Mm -hmm. So that's Lil Max back. I told y'all that was a star, right? All right. Y'all ready? It's long. Hold Moore's Temple Prophet and murder. Okay. <coughs> prophet Noble Juali was arrested for a plot or a conspiracy to murder. He wasn't even in town when it happened. But because he was the leader of the organization, they, they came looking for him. Blame split in coke for a crime. Police quiz founder of Freak Order. 
Now, before this, he's president, right? You know, more South Temple America, the good organization. Now it's a freak order. A freak? A freak order. That's what it says. Claude D. Green, 45th Michigan Ave manager of Unity Hall Club, which was given to him by who? Julian Rosenwald, the one who funded all the so-called black schools in the South through the, through the Tuskegee Institute in Booker T. Washington. Yeah, that one. Was shot and killed Thursday night at 8 o'clock on the floor of the clubhouse by members of the Morris Science Temple of America. Slime, who was that? Claude D. Green. Dang. So sad. A religious cult. It's supposed to be funny, bro. <laughs> a religious cult. We're a cult now. We went from being president, you know, her to free order to a cult in one article. It's just funny. Like, you know, we, were, we started out as a free order, now we're a cult, right? A cult that formerly held meetings in the place. So you have people talking about, well, we need to go get 3140 back. Mm, something happens to where we don't need to get 3140 back. We just don't. Green was also stabbed four times in the neck and body, according to information given the police by Arthur Scott, janitor of the club. The slaying of the cult came in Green's private office on the first floor and sought conference with him. One of the men suggested that they use the room on the second floor and Green obeyed this wish. Scott told Sergeant Gene Berry and Officer Heyman and Thomas, who arrived on the scene shortly after the murder, that the men had not been out of the private office five minutes before he heard two shots. They rushed downstairs and disposed and disappeared in the street. When he went upstairs to investigate, Scott said he found Green in a pool of blood. The slain man, he said, was on his knees, indicating he was begging the murderer to spare his life. That's speculation. All speculation. Those who know, know the whole story, know why he was on his knees. Justice for justice, right? Mm -hmm. We'll get into that in a minute as well. Police hunt leadership. Police, police squads insulted a citywide search for prominent leaders in the Morris Code. And within the hour, 40 were jammed in the Stanton Avenue station for question, for questioning. Timothy Drew, who styles himself Prophet Noble Drew Ali, Founder of the cult, cult was found in hiding at 20 at 3243 Indiana Ave, where in feast, where a feast had been in progress shortly after the word rendered him that Green had been slain. That's speculation. The prophet had just got back into town for a tour from a tour. Alright. So they was giving the prophet a welcome home tour. And the Sisters Auxiliary have put tag day to raise the funds to give the prophet a welcome home um, party. With Drew were several of his henchmen who were, identi who were identified as members of the party that came. Sam Jackson of Perry Ave, who was pointed out as being one of the dashed from the house when the policeman entered it and was captured a block away by attorney George W. Blackwood. Attorney who? That man sitting in the picture next to the prophet. He captured him. <coughs> this guy. Yeah. When he was attempting to escape in the prophet's high-powered car, what's a high-powered car? <laughs> Back then, Cadillac. Prophet had a Cadillac. That's it. 
Rafa had a Cadillac back then. Yeah. He had a Cadillac. Yeah. 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 High power call. Officers William and a defendant reporter got a tip that Smalls Bay or Small Bay, a former member of the cult, possessed valuable information regarding the murder. And when they entered his home on 37th and Street, Smalls willingly consented to give all data to the police that may lead to the arrest of all the murderers. He named a member of the Prophet Strongman Squad, known as Johnson Bay, whom he had, whom he said was the key man. That's the Police have been unable to locate Johnson. Scott, the janitor, also said Johnson was the man who appeared at Green's office and asked for a conference. Tales of a split. Small stated that a split had come in the organization and that Green was allied with a faction opposing the prophet. He further stated that the prophet had sent to Pittsburgh to get the assistance of his leader there from him to get Green bumped off. You just read the letter, right? Mm -hmm. Tell me Bay was the one with the prophet. All right. See how they just twisting it though? A secret meeting was held Sunday and it was thought that the murder was carefully planned and the crew to do the job selected. Small said that the prophet had kept crumbling in hiding all the week. The prophet was questioned by the police on his on his on this phase of the case. He stated that Crumley had left the city Monday. He stated that he believed Johnson may know something of the of the slang. You hear that? Prophet told him that Johnson may know something. That's what they say. Green, according to reports, held a meeting of his faction Sunday at the Unity Hall Club or the Unity Club in which the Prophet is said to have had spies. Probably said he got spies and detectives everywhere. All right. And it was learned that Green had some of the strongest temples in the organization. The prophet became up and called his meeting. And the murder plot was hatched. So Green had literally declared himself Supreme Grand Chief of the organization. And it wasn't so much he had the strongest temple, he had the secretary and treasurer who had the strongest temples. Small told the police that the prophet had approached him a week ago and asked him to agree. He offered, according to Small, to pay the expense of a court trial and other details that would give him freedom in the event of arrest. The police had difficulty in making any of the members of the cult tell of the secret meeting Sunday and the reason for the apparent appearance of Crumley Bay in the city. They found out, however, that another powerful man, another powerful member of the Order of Bay, who was head of the Detroit Temple, was also a marked man because he was allied with Green to establish a rival organization. So they was against the prophet. Well, why? Why were they, um, <coughs> why were they plotting against the prophet like this? Why would they plot to take over the organization? The prophet gives a, a, a demonstration where he talks about how it's those who want to sit in his seat. So that's where all the money is. She called him got to the Secretary of Treasury. While the Prophet was on his last tour that he went on, it was hard for him to get money. They tried to keep him out of the um, state of Chicago to stop him from getting back. But he had the members and the Sister Hillary, who Mary was a part of. See, Mary was a part of the Sister's Auxiliary, right? Pearl was head of the Treasury. But Mary was a head, was the head of the finances 
in the, in the um, sister's auxiliary. So the sister's auxiliary got him back. That's why, that's why you practice Islam. Because certain things go crazy, you got to have an alternative. Because certain things are just not, it's not supposed to be. <coughs> Green was formal business manager, was, was formal business manager of Timothy Drew, the prophet, and knew his innermost secrets. When the split came, Green notified Drew that he would have to hold his meetings elsewhere than Unity Hall. Monday, Drew moved his office equipment. Okay, the prophet moved his office, office equipment off the street. Claude Green threw his stuff out on the, on the street, he evicted the prophet and the whole organization that wouldn't follow him. You know, like you will hear people now say, prophet was here, I'll be just as disobedient. You that spirit. That's law. You that spirit. That's law. Because the thing is, <clears throat> the problem, you'll see the man and be like, well, you know, you just a man. What is the purpose of that man? What's, what's your purpose? Would you like what somebody said? Would you like, you treat people like you want people to treat you? Would you like that to happen to you? So you got, hmm. Green was well known throughout the city. He came to Chicago 20 years ago following the graduation from the Tuskegee Institute. So, this man who financed the Tuskegee Institute hired one of the students of the Tuskegee Institute. And they would maneuver their power through the organization on the so-called African-American people of black their time, trying to control the influence. And as you see, they did a pretty good job. Mm -hmm. position to go into the real estate business four years ago. He took over Unity Hall on a lease from I think it said it looked like it said Daryl M. Jackson, committee men of the second ward and has conducted it as a community center ever since. He was captain of the flag precinct in the second ward and took an active part in the recent automatic campaign. Mr. Green was also president of the Illinois Booster Club, which ran excursions to southern cities during the summer months. He was survived by his widow, Mrs. Inez Agnes Green, formerly of New Orleans, Louisiana, and two Dorothy and Austin Green. The inquest was held Friday morning at the Pertaking Company, 3115 Indiana Ave but continue to give police time to work on the several, several valuable clues. Detroit followers riot. You never hear about this riot though, right? Mm -hmm. Detroit, Michigan, March 22nd, two members of the Moorish Temple of the Police are patients after receiving hospital following at Temple Headquarters, 60, 622 Livingston's Street last Tuesday night. 
The riot was started when the two factions of the order attended a mass meeting. The wounded men are Stan Stone Bay and Zach Low Bay, Temple Trust. Previous to the riot, word had been flushed, had been flashed to Lomax, head of the Anaheim <laughs> Temple. That he was a marked man because of the efforts to split the organization. Someone fired into the meeting. You asked what would happen to him? Somebody fired a shot into their meeting. Same person who got called Green. Somebody shot a fire into, fired a shot into their meeting, mm. which Lomax was addressing, and the general fighting began. Members of the police riot squad, which rushed to the scene, were wounded in the encounter. The national executive head of the order arrived here from Chicago on last Wednesday to right the temple affairs. He accused Lomax of taking $8,000 in temple funds in, pro in proclamation. The prophet dismissed Lomax from, from connection with the earth. The statement here, the statement bore the signatures of T. Crumb, Pix, T. Childs Bay, Cleveland, Ohio, and Emilia Hill of Chicago and Noble Jew Island. So, those are the homes, right? What happened was Brother Carl Green slept with the prophet's wife. She was the secretary of the He thought that he was going to be able to for organization because of such, and he was not. The prophet Noble Jolly says, sleeping with a man's wife is something will not be able to be forgiven by that man. You're taking away something from him that you that he's never going to be able to forgive you for. And you had all these people who he had took up from slavery, literally, like Booker T. Washington talks about, and given a life of luxury. And they betrayed him. And the thing was, they say the prophet asked. They offered. They offered to go get the man who they were betraying the membership as well. For instance, y'all pay the treasurer of finances, right? To see to it that the doors are open. And then you come, and everything that you see in here is out front. You, you, you didn't betray me, or they didn't just betray, betray you. So members were highly upset. <clears throat> highly upset. And you got a national organization with 15 temples across the country, and they all sending their money into this home office. You had members all over the country who wanted them. All over the country. And the Prophet Abu Juwali, as he is another article we're probably going to get into today. You know, he tried to calm it down, but you can't control, like right now, you can't control a lot of our people when they get high-headed. And we know that Johnson Bay was a hitman. Prophet had pimps, prostitutes, hitmen, politicians. He didn't, our people come in every form. And you don't reject your people, you try to bring them up from where they come from. You don't reject them, you right. teach them better. Right. So, he found out that some of the pimps were better than the or politicians. And some of the pimps were worse off than the pimps. You know, the Prissy sisters were more confused than prostitutes. This is what he found out. And so, he had to control some stuff. And so he had to control Clark Green. Um, as you see, Alderman left him. Blackwell turned on him. Aaron Payne turned on him immediately. All of these people turned on the Prophet Noble Juwali. And because of that, a lot of the stuff that we know or should know does not exist. Does not exist at all. More. Tell them your head. Tell what you know about the picture. I'll be right back. I know what Dirty Moors did to Drew Ali. I, I, I. Dirty rappers lynching dirty moss too Hiding literature that Drew wrote to warn you They claim to make you Muslim and make you sovereign With paperwork and filings, if fiat they robbing They don't care about his words, throw it out like garbage Or throw it at you, when you're active, not passive When they wanna talk a bounce like off a trampoline mattress Treat them like a vamp or a teen actress Get stamped with the brand like a mean savage This inquisition divine, all others average Millennium renaissance, heroes in our classes Fed up with the czar controlling fascists 
ask if they heard about Moors, they say no. But Masons, they obviously know. Down the handshakes and rituals with skull and bones, they even know.